It is Christmas Eve 2022. As you can see, I'm in my... Actually, this is Constance's, and she told me to take it off immediately after my show today, so uh, it won't be despoiled by my Milo DNA. Well, anyway, uh, yesterday, Constance treated us to uh, uh, a reading of uh, a chapter uh, from the Libra 7, the Holy Books of Thelema. And it got us both talking about the, the Holy Books and discussing things. And uh, she's, uh, uh, this morning we were talking about chapter uh, 6, which is attributed to Mercury. And uh, the Constance very early on uh, uh, got into the practice of not just reading the holy books, but to recite it out loud, okay? Uh, which, is, which is always a good idea when you're, uh, especially when you're memorizing things. Uh, but in order to, to read it out loud, uh, you have to do, I guess, what they, what they call in drama school, oral interp, or oral interpretation. You have to connect to the, uh, to the material in order to, give vo in order to give voice to it. Now, sometimes your voice is not always interpreting the, uh, the material uh, say the way the playwright uh, intended or the director intends you to uh, to do it, it nonetheless uh, requires you, obliges you to get to get out of yourself and into the character that you're uh, giving voice to. Now, in the early AA practices, probationer and neophyte, particularly. Uh, one of the simple, simple tasks, almost unarmingly or disarmingly uh, uh, simple tasks, is to memorize a chapter of, uh, uh, well, first of all, chapter 65, which, uh, uh, and then chapter, of, a chapter from uh, uh, Liber 6. And uh, uh, Libra 65 is sort of uh, the chapters are attributed to the, the elements. And uh, Libra 7, are, they're uh, attributed to the planetary spheres. But you ask what, why these are, these are really high level uh, documents. Okay, it's Crowley's birth words, uh, literally, uh, first is uh, Adeptus Minor, the Holy Guardian Angel number six, and then the birth words of a master of the temple cr after crossing the abyss. And why am I memorizing portions of this? And uh, the best answer is, or the most common answer from your mentor, if they're honest, is, I'm not sure, it's just, you just do it, and a magic thing happens to you, uh, and it may be years and years before you ever figure out why this was so, so important, and how, just how it mutated you to, to uh, memorize that chapter. Well, as you probably know, if you've ever been obliged to memorize uh, uh, anything of uh, great length, uh, in order to do it, you usually practice it out loud. Uh, every Mason knows that uh, that uh, the the very sort of mystical lectures that uh, you. Uh, receive in Masonic uh, degree initiations and the step-by-step -step process that you went through 
during your initiatory process is uh, uh, chronicled in you being obliged to literally memorize the entire ritual. And then what? And then I was uh, brought into the thing, and then I was uh, uh, made to uh, uh, straddle a goat, and then the goat, uh, uh, being reluctant to be straddled, bucked me off and onto the altar. So, no, <laughs> but something like that. And then every obligation that you took, every oath that you took at the at the altar, everything you memorize, and then you're obliged to walk into a full temple with all of these old guys that did this before you, having memorized it all themselves, and it's deep in their 80-year-old minds, and you have to recite it back. They call it giving it back. Give your proficiency back. And in preparation of doing that, you rearrange your entire mind, your, your brain, your psyche is, is rearranged, mutated, and lubricated with that experience. And what does that do to you? Nobody knows, but you, and it mutates you. And so, uh, uh, in uh, studying the the sixth chapter of of Liber Seven, which is attributed to Mercury, uh, Constance ran ran across uh, uh, two verses that all of a sudden explained the whole thing. You don't analyze the holy books of Thelema. These are the ones that are not to be changed in style of a letter. These are the ones that Crowley didn't write. He somehow received. These are visions. Okay. Yes, they're Crowley visions. But they are, in a sense, universal. Okay. This is how Crowley saw this vision. But the the the, the pl the plot, the the theme of the each each verse is universal. You put it in you, and you in, in the same way that you would watch a wonderful movie, and you instantly get into the character of the protagonist. Or if you want the villain, okay, but you get into the the character of the let's say the protagonist. It's your story. You're Indiana Jones. You're experiencing the the fear of snakes. You're same way with these the holy books of Thelema, and you read them like that. And the best way to read them, Constance uh, has been doing it naturally for years, is to read them out loud. Start by reading them out loud. The line that, that uh, did the trick for her uh, this morning, this is from chapter 6, verse 14. There are deep secrets in these songs. It is not enough to hear the bird. To enjoy the song, he must be the bird. I am the bird and thou art my song, O my glorious galloping God. So, when we think of the Holy Books of Thelema in that respect, as a, as a divine Saturday morning cartoons that you watch, enjoy, 
are inspired by, are stimulated by, are terrified by. It starts to make sense how something like this can uh, mutate you. Let's see, I was going to just give you an example of uh, this is uh, the one that I memorized. It was chapter three, attributed to Jupiter. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to give you a Saturday morning cartoon. I was the priest of Amun-Ra in the temple of Amun-Ra at Thebai. But Bacchus came singing with his troops of vine-clad girls of girls in dark mantles and Bacchus in their midst like a fawn. God, how I ran out in my rage and scattered the chorus. But in my temple stood Bacchus as the priest of Amun-Ra. Therefore, I went wildly with the girls into Abyssinia, and there we abode and rejoiced exceedingly, yea, in good sooth. I will eat the ripe and the unripe fruit for the glory of Bacchus. Terraces of elix and tears of onyx and opal and sardonyx leading up to the cool green porch of Malachite. Within is a crystal shell shaped like an oyster. O glory of Priapus, O beatitude of the great goddess, therein is a pearl. O pearl, thou hast come from the majesty of the dread Amun-Ra. Then I, the priest, beheld a steady glitter in the heart of the pearl so bright we could not look. But behold, a blood-red rose upon a rood of glowing gold. So I adored the god, Bacchus. Thou art the lover of my god. I, who was priest of Amun-Ra, who saw the Nile flow by for many moons, for many, many moons, and the young fawn in the gray land. I will set up my dance in your conventicles, and my secret love shall be sweet among you. Thou shalt have a lover among the lords of the gray land. This shall he bring unto thee, without which all is in vain, a man's life spilt for thy love upon mine altars. Amen. Now, this morning, I uh, posted uh, the Amazon link to uh, uh, softbound edition of the Holy Books of Thelema. It's not, books by Crowley are often uh, uh, very hard to find and, and uh, I, I, you know, scholarly perfect editions uh, can, can, be, can be rare and expensive. And the only reason I uh, posted the link to this particular uh, uh, edition is because it's a, it's a reasonable price. It's uh, readily av uh, available on Amazon, and I'm sure it is uh, a good, accurate uh, rendering uh, of it. And I think everybody, if you're serious about being a Thelemic magician or understanding the understanding uh, Thelema as a, as a mystical uh, meditative uh, device, you should, you should have and uh, read the holy books 
out loud. Because that's literally, that's the secret of the song. You're the bird, and God's the song. That's my little talk for today, for Christmas Eve. Uh, tomorrow, I'll hopefully I'll I'll be uh, here with you tomorrow to celebrate Christmas morning. I think Santa Claus is coming tonight. Until tomorrow, continue to be good to yourself, be good to each other. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love is the law, love under will.